Hi everyone and welcome to Queen and Pink Guitars. Today we have an extra special guitar to show you. It is the Fender International Series in Maui Blue. So let's have a closer look. Now here we have a Fender 1980 International Series Strat in Maui Blue. Sort of a modern day Taylor Turquoise, but they actually do produce these in nine colours. Seven solid colours and two sunburst. They were produced between 1979 and early 1982 despite the serial number dating from 78 to 79. And this was because Fender actually had an abundance of these late 70s serialised logo transfers and they continued to apply them along the serialised designated years. These appear on instruments made up through to 82, hence why this guitar is a 1980 despite the serial number say in 79. While this isn't certain, in our experience the earlier versions didn't come with the black tonal knobs and pickups, they actually came with the usual white parchment plastics. So I've actually seen a few on the market where individuals have tried to class their 1979 Strats International Series by changing certain parts, so be careful when you're purchasing these. Now it's interesting, guitar shops usually only held one of the nine colour variants and this was because Fender only released these in quantities or 15 or more so if you were after a specific colour you would have to shop around to find which store had them in stock which obviously isn't an issue these days. So as you can see from the finish types they aren't your regular production finishes that we see nowadays. They're quite wild if you ask me. My old man informs me that everyone wanted the Capri orange version it's quite evident to see that on the market these fetch the highest price with I think the Monaco yellow coming up behind. So the body weighs in at around about 9.6, it's not a back breaker and feels actually quite nice to hold. Big classic 70s style headstock there, no dings, no scratches. It's got a maple neck, features a maple fretboard with 21 frets, very little fret wear. I don't think this guitar was played much at all, it's in such great condition, it was definitely under the bed for a while. So let's look at the hardware. So firstly, as you can see by the sawdust, the guitar hasn't been meddled with. The electronics look untampered. The soldering looks all pretty neat and as it should. So these top two pickups are the grey bottom pickups, um, but this one here is actually an X1 pickup. And these were manufactured between 79 to 82 and produced in the Fullerton factory. And they were actually Fender's early version of one of the hot bridge pickups. Um, excellent sounds, warm vintage tones, plenty of bite, great crunch, especially when the gain's cranked up high. They did bring out the tremolo version of these guitars, but this is the hardtail. And I think we've only ever had the hardtail versions in stock. I think the tremolo versions are quite difficult to get hold of. It's also worth pointing out that these late 70s neck pockets were criticised for the sloppy craftsmanship. You can actually fit a penny between the body and where it meets the neck. This one isn't perfect, but it's not as bad as others that we've had in. So back of the guitar, again, no dings, slight surface swirling, but apart from that, it's in great condition. And the chrome wear isn't tarnished, looking pretty shiny. If we have a look at the serial numbers here, they do all match their headstock and inside the guitar there, their S9 serial number. So how does it sound? So there we have it guys, our guitar of the week is the Fender International Series Strapped in Maui Blue. Absolutely gorgeous guitar, a lot of history behind it. If anyone has got any more information on these, please comment down below and let us know. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe it if you'd like to see more. Cheers guys!